and welcome to another board game archaeology. I've not made one of these for a while, but I'm, this is a game that I've been meaning to make a board game archaeology ser uh, video about. Uh, this is the 1987 Games Workshop game, Block Mania, uh, based on Jewish Dread, 2000 AD. Uh, it's one of a slew of Games Workshop games, board games from the mid to late 80s when they had a lot of licenses. They did, uh, I think, a Jewish Dread board game. They did, I think, a Rogue Trooper one, uh, Chainsaw Warrior. They all came out around the same time. I think of the ones of those that I played, which is basically the Jewish Dread board game, uh, Block Mania is by far and above the best of them. Uh, it's based on the Block War scenarios in the Jewish Dread comics in 2000 AD, where uh, two blocks which is where thousands upon thousands of citizens live they start fighting between each other for various reasons usually rivalry uh, but also because they were all poisoned as well just before the apocalypse war but we don't need to know that background this is the, uh, a typical block war that just flares up every so often in mega city one there is an expansion to this which i've got i don't have the box for it anymore but it is in here where you could add two more blocks uh, either side of this and that was called mega mania uh, this I'm just going to play today. I'll just just show you how it plays. I'm going to sh uh, play the basic box set. So we have the two blocks, Sammy Fox block and Buddy Holly block. I'm fairly certain. I don't need to explain who Bull Buddy Holly is, but to any American who are watching this, or any anybody outside of the UK who wasn't around in the late eighties, at least, uh, Sammy Fox is a glamour star. She was a page three girl, uh, big in the eighties and uh, big on page three. She now, I believe, or at least until recently, had a, uh, a singing career in India, of all places. Uh, but it's obviously a joke from the Games Workshop staffers to stick a Glamour model's name on one of these blocks. Because they're all named after, uh, in the comics, they're all named after various celebrities and things anyway. And generally of the time, of, of the 80s. So we've got these two blocks, Sammy Fox block and Buddy Holly block. Uh, each of the blocks have three cards. These are Mania cards. I'll turn those over later and we should talk about those in the game. Uh, they also have a stack of blockers, which are the different people that actually live in the block, and they will be brought on as pieces. Uh, there's two armory stacks as well here and two hardware stacks, and these uh, are double the size you would normally get in the base game because, as I say, I've got the Mega Mania, so I've just combined everything together. A few other pieces as well, which we'll explain as the game goes on. The idea really is to play through a certain amount of turns. It's basically when the Mega Cards, uh, the Mania Cards run out, and I think there's 32 of these, so it's basically 32 turns or 16 turns per block, and then you roll, uh, bring in what are called the Justice Cards, which is another set of them over here, there's 16 of these. These get brought in and then they have to be played every turn. And once they're finished, then the game is over and whoever gets the most points wins. There's another way of winning and that's by bringing down your opponent's block. You can destroy it by attacking the structure of the place and making it collapse. And the more one play, uh, area collapses, the more above it collapse or get structural damage. And it's like a chain reaction going all the way up the building and uh, it, you can bring down a block relatively easy if you've got the right tools and weapons. So that's one thing to keep an eye on. So that's pretty much the introduction to it. It's a relatively simple game. I'll take you through each of the steps of, of, the, of the turns so you can see how it plays and just take you through the game itself and uh, hope you enjoy this video uh, as much as I probably enjoyed playing this game. Okay, well, first things first, we've got to set up, and we the, the way we do this is we take four blockers, and we can place these anywhere in the block. So we turn these over, so we've got Fatties, City Death, Footsie, and a Mob. Now, the Fatties and the Mob are unarmed, so I'm going to just put these somewhere. Uh, I think the Mob will be best down the bottom there to protect the entrance plaza. Fatties... Uh, we'll put these up in the shopping mall, so then they can get some hardware when they activate. Now the FTSE is Future Shock Syndrome. Uh, the reason it's orange is means that it can be operated by either side. So somebody, uh, the, the opposition can take hold of these if they want to and use them to do something. And the H down here means that they start with a hardware item. So we take one, turn it over, and it's spray paint. So this guy... 
I think if we put him, maybe we can put him on the pedway there and we can send him over to the other block to do some scrolling or vandalism. Uh, the City Death, they have an A, so they start with an Armoury card. And these are good. The numbers on the bottom, I'll just show you, are uh, activation points, uh, their strength is how much they move, uh, how much they can carry, and then their movement, uh, so how much they can, uh, how many squares they can move. So it costs one to activate the City Death, uh, but they, they can only carry one weapon, but they can move up to six. They're quite good, but they already start with a weapon as well. So they have a flamer. So what we'll do is we'll put them in at the vehicle park and then they can get across into the opposition's block and then hopefully start a fire or something like that. So let's see what Buddy Holly's got. They've got their four as well. So we have, uh, let's have a look, we've got another mob. Vigilantes, City Death and Juves. So the mob again is uh, a, uh, a big big loop of people. Uh, they don't come armed with anything but what we'll do is we'll stick them in the vehicle park and it'll stop the City Death. City Death will have to go through to that city uh, vehicle park there to get to get into the block. The Juves, uh, Juveniles, they start with a hardware so we'll just take one at random. They've got spray paint so we will I think if we put these on the Pedway Terminus, they can go and attack that FTSE and uh, go and cause some, some damage there. Or actually, no, let's put them on the Armoury and then they can pick up some weapons. City Death, same again, they've got an Armoury card, so that's a Missile Defence Laser. This is a heavy weapon, so this actually has to be deployed before it can be used, which means that the unit has to be activated and it costs them two movement points to, activate, to, to deploy that, so that goes face down straight away. Because it's a big weapon for attacking the building, uh, it's got a plus 8 damage on it. Well, I'm going to put it there because then they can fire it at the opposition's building and hopefully bring it down at some point. Uh, vigilantes, let's see what they've got. They've got a stump gun, which is a basic uh, handheld weapon. Uh, it's like a shotgun. And we'll put those in there to protect from that footsie. Or even go and attack him. Or maybe... Uh, the stump gun has got a plus four attack on it, which is quite good. Uh, you basically add your attack of your weapon and minus the strength of your opposition. And if you roll over a six with whatever's left over, then you destroy them. But they can only carry one weapon. So I'm just thinking of where to put these. I think if we put these in the vehicle park, we can go and attack. We can use that to get across to the other, other side. Because we can always control the foot see if we really need to. So that's a face basic setup. So I'll just pull these out of the way for a second, the blocker cards. Now we have a look at our mania cards, and this is what I was talking about. So we have here we've got radio jammer, uh, stuck, which means elevators don't move, and Cynthia Burger Bar, no fatty counters can be activated for this turn. You can see these symbols here. CP means command points, so that's when it's used in what phase. H is hazard, so that's when the opposition is moving and doing something. So I'll have to try and remember to play those when the opposition is doing something. So if they're moving in the elevators, you basically just stop them doing it. Uh, and if the fatties are moving, they stop them as well for a turn. And this one will reduce the uh, opposition's block command points by six points immediately. Let's have a look at what Buddy Holly has got. They have got Kaboom, which is an A, so that's an attack. Uh, so that's destroy uh, so they can sever a my uh, pedway. So these are the pedways here. Once they're severed, you can't cross on them. Uh, CP again, command points. That is uh, deploy two blockers without paying any command points. So that's quite good. And then they've got smoke bombs, which is an attack, uh, which is subtract two from the next attack roll. So you can use that against the opposition if they're going to attack you, and who they take two off their roll. So, I mentioned command points, let's get on with uh, the command points. Each block rolls 2d6, and then they play any command point cards that they've got. So, first of all, well, you do it one at a time in your turn. It's an I go, you go. So, the Sammy Fox block has got six command points. They're not playing any cards in their command phase. And then you can bring on or activate blockers. You can recruit a new blocker and it costs you four command points. Or you can activate a blocker that's already on board 
and it will cost you however much uh, their command points are. So City Death would cost one, Fatty's two, the Mob four, the FTSE three. Pretty simple. So because we've only got four pieces on, I'm going to bring on a blocker. So you take the top one off and the random one, it's a, it's a fatty. Now these don't go where we want them to, so these go randomly. So we roll the two dice. The first number is your first, is the first number. The second number is the second number. So it can go all the way up to between 11 and 66. So I'll show you what I mean. So I roll a 4 and a 5, so that's 45. So he starts in 45, so that's up there. And now we've still got two command points left. So we can activate somebody, maybe the city def. We could go and attack something with the flamer. That might be a, a good action. So they only cost one to use. So I think we will. We'll get rid of user one. And they are using the vehicle park. It costs you one uh, movement point to move across to any other vehicle park. Now both of these have got uh, people in them. So they could stop either at the mob or at the vigilantes. They'll have to go into close combat as soon as they do. So they'll take on the mob. Close combat is very simple. They both roll a d6. They add their strength and they also add the strength of any weapons that they've got. So the mob has got a strength of 4. City Death has got their strength of 1 plus 3 for the flamer. So they're both, both rolling. If it's a draw, they carry on fighting. Otherwise, whoever wins uh, destroys the other. It's pretty simple. So the mob have got a 5. City Death have got a 2. So the city death are killed, and that means they lose their their weaponry. So I'll just shuffle that back in somewhere randomly. They don't go back into the card; they go to one side because uh, once it's destroyed, it's destroyed. But because they fired, there is now a fire in that square. So the mob believe they'll have to deal with that, or it may spread, or it may cause structural damage. But that is as simple as the combat is. So that's the end of. Uh, Sammy Fox's first turn, they draw a new card, you have to draw a card every turn and if, you, if you've got more than four cards in a hand you have to get rid of one. So they will keep the radio jammer and get rid of the Synthi Burger Bar. So that just goes into the discard pile over here. So, Buddy Holly Block. So they're going to roll their dice, they're rolling three. Uh, Sammy Fox will play radio jammer which means that reduces by six, so that gets rid of all of their points. But they will play reinforcements on their command points and get two new blockers. But just remember, they could have used the smoke bombs in the attack with the with the mob there, but they didn't. So we've got a mob and fatties. So we'll find out where they go. So the mob goes on 26. Uh, there's already somebody there, so we reverse it, 62. There we go, they're all the way up there. And then the fatties are in 46. And that is, just find it, one, two, three, there we are. Uh, well, the fatties have actually started on that place there, G, which is a grav shoot, which means it costs you one uh, movement point to move all the way to the bottom, which is quite nice if they want to move them. Unfortunately, they don't actually have any uh, points to spend on activation, so they can't do anything. But they could still play one of these cards. So let's sever the pedway. Why ever not? So that has cut that line, means they can't cross it anymore. It's, uh, so the footy will not be able to get across into their block if you wanted to. And then they draw their new card. Oh, Judges. So it says, Judges the arrest of block account, so it's destroyed, removed from play. So that's quite a good. Good little uh, useful card for them. So <coughs> we're back to Sammy Fox block. They're on six. Uh, their only command point card they could play is a radio jammer, which would play in the opposition's turn. They really need to get something out, so they're going to bring out a new reinforcement, a new blocker, and it is another mob. And they're starting 63. There are more than mobs and, uh, and fatties in this in this in this lot, you know. So they've now got two points left, so they can activate something. They can't activate the mobs because they're four, but they could activate some of these fatties. Uh, I think this is probably the best one because he's right next to the armory. So we'll 
use up the two command points, he'll go into the armory, he draws an armory card, you could loot the armory, and then you would draw three cards, but I don't want to, I want to keep it open because I want to, I want other units to be able to use it. So you only draw one card, and then that's his turn. So he's got a spit gun, which is basically a machine gun. So that's the fattest turnover, and Sammy Fox's turnover. So they draw a new card. Wreckers, so anyone using vehicle movement gets attacked by Wreckers with a plus four damage bonus, so that's not too bad. And on the Buddy Holly block, they're now on four, but Sammy Fox block will play their radio jammer and reduce that to zero. So again, they can't really do anything at this point. So what they can do uh, I forgot to roll for the fire at the end of their last turn, but uh, we'll just say it didn't spread, shall we? Uh, so over here, these are going to play judges as a hazard, and they're going to get the fatties arrested with their spit gun. So get rid of them. And at the end of their turn, they now have to roll for the fire. So there's only one fire marker in there. We roll the dice. If it's one or a two, it reduces by one fire marker. Anything other than that, we add the amount of fire markers in there, and if it's seven or more, they get a structural damage marker in there as well. So basically that's a six. So we're looking for a one or a two or a six. A three does nothing, so the fire is still burning, but it doesn't do anything. So they draw a new card. Armed robbers, any bank or shopping mall square. Uh, they get an attack on something. So, over to Sammy Fox again. You see how easy this game plays. So we've got eight. They really need to get some people out, so they're just going to spend all eight on two new blockers. So a mob and a juves. Let's give the juves their hardware. They have bat suits, so that means they can fly. So let's see where they start off. In 23... So where's, there we are, down the bottom, and the mob starts in 14. 14 is the entrance plaza, there's already a mob there, so we reverse the numbers, 41. So they're up there. They can't do anything, um, because they have no other points to do anything with, and there's no cards that anyone can play, there's no fire or anything so far in this block. So they draw a new card, and we move on. They've got armed robbers as well. So Buddy Holly, they're on to four. Now, we need to get something done here. Um, they will activate their City Death, and they will activate their Missile Defence Laser, and then start blasting at the opposition's block. So they've got three points left. So there are two other points. They will get the Vigilantes to move over here, go to where, there where you see FC, Fire Control, and they can fight the fire that's currently blazing on the mob. They roll a d6, add their strength to it, which is 1. Uh, if it's 6 or above, then they put the fire out. 4, 5, no, they don't put the fire out, so that's done. But City Death are firing at the building. They're going to fire at number 31 with their missile defence laser that they set up. It's got a plus 8. Uh, buildings have a strength of 6, so that's really a plus 2. 6 or above with a plus two is a damage marker put on there. So we need, we're looking at a four, five, or a six. So that's a five, so they have actually put a damage marker on there. Now as soon as the damage marker appears, we roll for it. Uh, for every damage marker that is in the square, you, put, you add one, so in this case there's a one. Six or above on a d6 means that it collapses, and then it will affect the squares above it, and then they get rolled for as well. So the first one, uh, five or a six, and it's collapsed. <laughs> there we go, straight away. So that one collapses, and we get a structural damage here and a structural damage here. Normally they would spread out uh, three above, but obviously this is outdoors, so it doesn't go that far. So now we roll for each of these. Same again, five, six, they did, uh, fall down. So the first one, yes, that's gone. Ooh, I'll put a collapse marker there instead of a fire marker. Uh, and then this one here, no that hasn't collapsed, 
but then we've got two structural damage markers here above the collapse that's gone down. So the FTSE, he's okay. If it collapsed on him, it would have killed him instantly. And the one on the left, that has gone as well. So now we see that we can add this, this, and this. So we've got three more now. So let's go through, work our way through these. One, yeah, that's gone. I'll add the structural damage above. The next one, no. The next one, yes. This is not looking good already. What happens is, when you reach a certain point uh, of five or more collapse markers on a block, you'll roll 5d6. If you roll the number of collapse markers on the block, then the block collapses and game over. They lose 200 points immediately. So let's work our way through. We've got this one. That's gone down. This is not looking good. No, nope. this one now has got plus two because it's got two structural damage points in it. So that is now four, five, or six. Yeah, that's gone down. And the next one here. This is a real chain reaction. This is uh, not good at all for Buddy Holly. Uh, sorry, Sammy Fox. It's good for Buddy Holly, not for Sammy Fox. So we put all our structural damage markers on here. This is really, uh, really bad. So we start with these four, five, six again. No, that one stayed up. The thing is, we don't roll again for these uh, until there's more structural damage put onto it. So it remains as it is until uh, until more damage is done. So this one, six, that's gone down. I think we're going to have to roll for this, you know. don't know how many we've got at this point, but to see if the block collapses, I mean. So here, no. Uh, we've got a one here, so that's five or six. Yes, that's gone. And the last one on this row, five or six. No, that hasn't gone. Uh, this is way better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, when I fired that laser. So here we've got one, no, and here, no, uh, plus two, so four, five, or six. Yes, that's gone. Uh, this one here, no, this one here, no, and then we've got the last three. These won't go any further up because they're right on the top of the block, so this one has gone. This one, no, and this last one. Yes. So that means we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, structural damage points, uh, collapse points on the block already. So at the end of Sammy Fox's turn, they will roll a dice to see if it collapses. So they've got at least one more turn to try and get some of their blockers out. So I think there's probably a good chance of it collapsing because you're only rolling five dice. So... That was the end of the Bully, Ho Bully Hollow block, uh, and the end of Sammy Fox block as well. So they get their new card, Ra Ra Ra, which is rolling two extra command points for the turn. So Sammy Fox, let's see what these can do with their five points. That's not great, to be perfectly honest, but uh, I think we're probably better off moving these jubes and try to get them out. Try to get some of these people out of this block, I think, at this point. So, yeah, we'll activate the juves. That's cost three. So they will go one. Civic uh, squares you can move through for free because they're big open spaces. Two. And then drive to the vehicle park. Three. They will then use an elevator. Four. They've got one more point of movement left if they would to use it. Oh, that's probably better off going four here, five, and then we could probably come and try to attack the city death next turn. And then we'll use up, so I used up three there, didn't I? Uh, we'll use up the last two points on these fatties, and they go one, two, three, and they only have four movement points, so they'll come up to there. So at least two will survive if the block goes down. There's not another anything else I can use with their cards. 
So we'll get a new card and we'll test for that structural collapse elevator. We'll uh, get rid of that one, we don't need that one. So we said we had 13, let's just double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes. Roll 5 dice. I've only got 2 so I'll just re-roll re -roll these. But anything under 13 and the block goes down. So 7. Uh, 12, 15, well, it doesn't go down, but let's just see how many they got anyway. Uh, 21, so they're okay at the moment, but that means that the Buddy Holly block will probably try to do some more damage to them. So, Buddy Holly block's turn. They're playing their Ra 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 card, uh, so they get an extra two command points on this, uh, two command dice. So we've got eight already. And then we'll roll again, and they have another 7, so that takes them to 15. Flip the card, it's got a plus 10. So that is tons of blockers they can do stuff with. So, first of all, we'll drop that down to 1, we'll bring out a... Let's bring it down to 7, and bring two new blockers out. So we've got mobs and spugs. Uh, we'll put the mob in 16. 16 is the entrance plaza, so that's wrong one, so they're down there. And the Spugs get a hardware card, they've got fire bombs. Probably not going to need those, but we've got them. And they end up in number 14. They can't go in there because the mob's already in there, so they go in 41. So they're up here above the fatties. And then we've still got 7 points to use uh, to, to do things with, so first of all, one point will be the city death. I'm going to fire down uh, again. They will fire, probably fire up here actually at the footsie and try and cause a bit more damage up there. Well, actually, no, they could fire up here at the uh, the tube way. That's already got structural damage, so they may as well fire at that and cause more damage up there. Or even down at the mega way down here and try and cause more damage down there as well. I'm not sure, we'll have a little think about that, but we've still got another six points to spend. Two points will be on the Vigilantes, trying to put that fire out. So we add their strength of one, five, six. We needed seven or more to put out one fire point. So that's still burning away. We've got four more points. I'm kind of doing this out of out of action, out of order, just so I, I know I'm doing it. That's not going to affect anything else uh, while I play the rest of the turn. Uh, we could attack with the mob against the fatties. Yeah, let's go. Let's send the mob up. So they've both got a strength of four. They've gone up in the elevator. However, they're going to play elevator stuck. They can't say, uh, get out of the elevator, so they can't move for the rest of the turn. So they're basically stuck in there. So that's how you play those. And that's it. That's all our things. So the only thing I can do is fire this uh, missile defence laser. And I'm not entirely sure which one is best to go for. Mm, I think it might be better where the footsie is because that will potentially collapse that, potentially collapse that, potentially blah, 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 blah. So let's shoot at that. It's got a plus two. I've got nothing else that can add to that. So we need 4, 5 or a 6, and it's a uh, cause structural damage. That's a 5. So there's two structural damage now, we roll for those. So 4, 5 or a 6, that goes down. 5, that's gone down. So because the footsie is there, in the collapse, he is killed. So that's another blocker gone. I'll put his hardware back into the pile. Uh, then we have... Structural damage above, and that again is on four, five, or six. No, that stays up, but we've now got 14 uh, collapse points on there. So that's the end of their turn. We'll flip these back over so that we know that they're ready to activate again. Get a new card, Clegs. Clegs are mercenaries that we can bring in for free. So that might be uh, worthwhile doing. 
Uh, they basically will attack anything, so they could attack the Juves. And over here then, Sammy Fox. They're on eight. Eight command points. Well, they got the, the fatties could attack the mob for two points. And the Juves could go and do something, uh, maybe go and set fire to something. I can't remember what they're carrying. Or bat suits. Nothing particularly useful. They could go up to the shopping mall and go and raid that. Yeah, so we'll activate the Juves and the Fatties, so that's five points. Uh, the three, I can't activate any of these mobs with three points. But the Juves will come down, so they go one, because of the Threat Civic, two to the shopping mall, and they will loot it. And looting is we roll a d6. Add the strength value. And their strength is 2. Uh, 6 or above, they've looted it. So 6 or above, that's it. And they get to draw 3 hardware cards. Uh, they only have a strength of 2, so they can only carry 2. But they've got spray paint, vibro drill and their bat suit if they want it. So we'll keep the spot vibro paint and the bat suit. But that ends their turn. And we'll discard those back into the hardware pile. And then the fatties are attacking the mob. Uh, the mob are going to use smoke bombs to reduce the fatties attack by two. So the fatties get a plus two. Uh, so five, the mob get a plus four, seven. So the fatties are killed. Oh dear, it's not looking good for uh, Sammy Fox block, is it? They've already lost four blockers. But that's the end of their turn. We flip that. Uh, oh, I completely forgot to roll for that fire, didn't I? Or did I? Well, let's just do it. One or two, it goes out. Six turn above, it causes structural damage. Nope, nothing anyway. Uh, so back over here with Sammy Fox, we've got uh, 14, I think, now collapses. So let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 6, 12, 18, 18, I'll just roll for that extra anyway, 24. So it still stays up, uh, despite probably listing pretty badly in the wind at this point. And... They draw a new card, Sky Rail. They can put a Sky Rail marker in one of the uh, Sky Rail stations up here. Not that that matters because that one's collapsed anyway. Right, Buddy Holly. Well, we got six points. In their command phase, they're going to bring in the Clegs. The Clegs are mercenaries, they'll work for whoever has played the last Clegs card. So they take an Armouries card, and they've got a Spit Gun. And we can put these anywhere. So they will put will go next to the Juves to try to destroy them this turn. We've got six points to play with. So we'll activate the Clegs, activate the Vigilantes, and activate the City Death for five. So the Vigilantes will try to put out that fire again with a plus one. Nope. Fire still burning. Clegs are going to attack the Juves with a plus three. They would get to attack back if they had a weapon that they could fire with, but they don't, so they can't. So we attack with the weapon strength of plus three against their two, so it's plus one. Six, is, six or above is a kill, so five or a six. That's killed the Juves. And also I forgot to put a looted ticket down there to show that that has been taken out, so nobody can nobody can draw any cards from the shopping mall down there anymore. And then we've got the city death. Again, I'm trying to work out where's the best place to shoot at with their uh, with their laser. I think it's probably going to be here again. So let's go with that. A plus two. That's another structural damage in there. So that then now has three on it. So that now is rolling on a. Uh, three, four, five, or a six, and that will collapse. 
No, that's still up. Blimey. And that's the end of Buddy Holly's block's turn. They've got Clegs again. Let's test for the fire. Uh, three is nothing, it's just burning. And over to Sammy Fox block. So their command points. Ten. Well, I suppose we've got a choice here. We can either try to get these uh, mobs out of here. And he'll at least have some blockers surviving. Or bring on some new ones, I think. Let's 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 try and get some of these out. So we have ten, so down six for these guys. One, two, three. They will attack the Clegs. Because why not? And another four for these. These aren't on a graph shoot, annoyingly. Well, we could bring them over here, so go one, two, there's a graph shoot there. Three, bring them out at least into the open. So the ones that attack the Clegs, they can't do anything else, they haven't got any points. So they're attacking on a four, the Clegs have got a six. So the mob get a plus four, ten, the Clegs get a plus six, <laughs> twelve, so that kills that mob. It was worth a try. And that is the end of Sammy Fox's turn. They get a new card. We'll get that first one. Ra 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 is a good one. We we'll get rid of Wreckers. We don't really need those anymore. But we've got to test to see if this collapses again. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Same as. 8. Uh, 8 and 12 is 20. So yeah, that's way, up, way above 21, so they're perfectly fine at the moment. So, Buddy Holly. So we've got 11 points this time, not that I really need them. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's bring on another blocker just for the laugh. See what we've got. Fatties. And they end up in 53. And they're up here. Uh, the Clegs. Let's play Clegs again. Bring out another Clegg card, and that is a spit gun. Let's put them in the window just so they can look out and see if there's anything they can shoot at. And they still have another seven points, so I'm going to pay for another blocker. Why have I not? It's Juves, and they're in 22 with a piece of hardware. There down here and now we've got three points left one point on the city def to fire their laser and two points on the uh, vigilantes to try and pull that fire out so we'll try with the fire first of all six or above it's gone out finally and <clears throat> the city def they've got their laser so they're going to fire again up here so four five or six causes structural damage no this time they haven't and that's the end of Sammy Fox, uh, sorry Buddy Holly, uh, they've got reinforcements, we really don't need those at this point. So Sammy Fox, they will, they've got nine points, they'll play Ra 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 uh, and get an extra two command points for this. So that's another seven points, so nine is sixteen. So... Ooh, I don't know what to do here because they, they've only got the two mobs. Well, let's bring some more bring some more blockers on. See if we can get any, anyone else with... Ooh, uh, Juves with a buzzsaw. They're starting in 25. Uh, let's bring out another set. We can try and move these out because we can... Uh, Activate them straight away. 42 for the Crocs. The old folks. They're a bit useless. And let's spend four more points and get another, another one. Spugs. With a piece of hardware. They are in 31. Bat suit. Exactly what we needed. So they started there. It cost them an extra point to move through a collapsed square. An extra point to move in, an extra point to move out. But they will. So they'll 
three, so they can move five, so they can fly because they've got a bat suit. One, two, sorry, it costs them one to leave, so two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can try and get across and attack the city death at some point. But that's it, they've only got one more point. They can actually use that point to move an extra one, so they will. But they haven't got a weapon to fire with, so they can't fire down. So that's the end of Sammy Fox. They have to roll again to see if it collapses. Uh, we're on 14 still. So 7, 9, now <laughs> five, 5 or a 6, and it stays up. Four, it's downed. That's it. So Sammy Fox has collapsed. Uh, so that was some good shooting from the City Death at Woody Holly. So that means everybody in the block is killed. It no longer exists, obviously. Every thing at the bottom of the uh, everything is, is now covered in collapse. So let's just put these collapse markers down here so we know. We've got so if we're adding up the points at the end, which we probably won't do because I think it's quite obvious who's won here, uh, they immediately get minus 200 points. So we'll get rid of all those. So, yeah, it's over to that's it, that was their turn, and their block has gone down. So, we now have uh, over to Buddy Holly. They've got six points. They're going to play their reinforcements cards just because they can. I guess two new blockers out straight away. City Death and Juves. Pretty perfect to be honest. So the City Death have got Demo Chargers and the Juves have got Fire Bombs. So we'll see where the Juves are. They're in 34. And we'll see where that City Death unit comes in. Uh, 35. They can't go in there because there's already a mob, so they go in 53. They can't go in 53 because there's already fatties, so we roll again. So 52, so they're next door to the fatties. And right, what else have we got in here? We've got the clegs, haven't we? We've now got six points, so we'll use one point to activate this city death. They will fire at that mob with the defense laser. Then we'll also use two points to activate these Clegs with their spit gun, who will now come down and attack the, the Spugs. And then we'll use another two points with these Clegs to also bring up their spit gun to attack those Spugs as well. So we'll start with the City Death. Well, actually, they will first of all move down one and then set up their defense laser. So they're firing at the mob with a plus four, six and above, and it's destroyed. Uh, five. That's not destroyed the mob. So we've got the Clegs. It cost them two, three, four, and then they will attack the Spugs. But we'll also bring down these ones here. Uh, so we'll do this together. They're both firing. It's a three, basically. So the first Clegs, they need a six to destroy the Spugs. And the other ones also need a six to destroy the Spugs. No and no. So they've still got, uh, the game still continues. So now we take a new card, Trundle Trundle, it's uh, belly wheels for the fatties. And Sammy Fox have got 11 command points just when they didn't need them. So they'll activate their mob, it costs you two to go in and two to come out so they can only move to there because of the collapse. But they've got their spugs who have got a bat suit on. They'll uh, activate them and they will go one, two, three, four, five because this is all open air now. Uh, that's got a range of six so they're still in range. So that's the end of Sammy Fox. And they'll take Tap gang and get rid of the sky rail card. You don't need that. So, Buddy Holly, 
I've got five, five points. So that will activate the Clegs and the City Death. So the City Death firing down the mob, plus four, six, that's killed the mob. The Clegs, first one, see the range one, two, three, four, five, they're both within, so sixes for both of these to hit and kill the Spooks. The first one, the second one, no and no. But I'm going to leave the game there because it's quite obvious that Sammy Fox has, has lost. I think there's not much point in, in basically chasing uh, a spug around the rest of the board. But that game uh, ended pretty relatively quickly, uh, and probably as it should have done really. The, uh, it was a, a real bonus for the City Death to get the missile defence laser straight away, because that meant they could then start attacking the Sammy Fox block straight away and doing some structural damage, otherwise it would have taken a while to, to destroy uh, these blocks. But that's generally how most games go in city in, in block mania, sorry. Uh, Mega Mania, as I say, adds four uh, up to four blocks in the into the game and makes it even more manic and crazy. Uh, and is a good laugh as well. Uh, it's it's a, a very old game, as I say, 87, so that's what 13, nearly 40 years on now. And it's uh, it still stands up. Very simple, very easy to play. Uh, just good fun. There was a uh, a way of playing this with miniatures, but you don't really don't need it because you've got all these cards anyway with really nice artwork on them. Uh, great little game. Uh, well done there, for Games Workshop, for uh, for producing this. If you can get hold of a copy of it, try to do so. Second hand one. You won't find it in Games Workshop anymore, but uh, you might get it in the second hand market stores or in uh, eBay. Have a look around for it. Check it out. Have some fun destroying each other's blocks. Thanks for watching this board game archaeology session and uh, we'll have some more of these, some older games in future, I hope. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hit subscribe and uh, talk to you next time.